Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to see, I hope, uh, how to give a second life to your uh, smartphone. So the idea was to uh, purchase a smartphone uh, broken on eBay. So that's the smartphone that I purchased. As you can see the screen is a very bad state. Uh, so my first idea was actually to, bought some, uh, to buy some spare parts in order to change this one. So I bought the spare parts uh, like this and this, but I finally discovered out that uh, the model that I purchased here is not exactly the same as this one. And in fact, I cannot plug this screen like this on this one. So it means that this spare part um, has no interest at all. So what I did is I purchased another uh, broken smartphone. So it looks nice, but actually it's uh, it's broken. It cannot be switched on. And uh, this is what I did. So just to let you know, first, uh, if you would like to uh, perform that kind of thing, always check that uh, you are purchasing the right spare parts. And as well, another hint is uh, always chase for a new broken smartphone because this one was not appearing uh, when I was first looking at it. But of course, as you have new offer coming on the market, then uh, all smartphones such as this one broken can uh, be uh, out. So um, as well, another piece of advice uh, here, for example, I get the personal data dealing with the mobile phone number of the person who sold it to me. Uh, always, of course, clean your smartphone before uh, giving it away. So um, I have no idea what this smartphone has as an issue. Uh, however, um, I hope that it's not a, a smartphone which has been put into the water, which will mean, of course, that the smartphone will be uh, totally useless. Uh, this video may last quite a while because I have no idea about what I'm going to discover uh, within it. But the main idea is just to pick out the screen and to put it on this one. So here I hope that's exactly the same model, normally it is. So I just have those six screws um, removed and then I will be able to access to uh, the main components. So as you can see, I'm just removing the different screws. Just gonna take a bit of time, yups, yups. Oh, I can see that there is a scratch here. Never noticed it before. <clears throat> okay. So only almost only one screw remain. Okay. Okay, all good. So now I should be able to remove these parts out. So to remove these parts out, you may need actually those, okay. Yep. Okay, so it took me a while in order to put this away. And the reason is that probably that's the reason why the smartphone broke is actually this part was embedded uh, within this one so probably it hit the floor as you can see there's kind of a, a scratch over here uh, oh no there wasn't here oh, so anyway i think that it falls on the floor or something like this okay so uh, next i have some other screws uh, to remove so let's uh, remove those we have one here There's another one here.
Okay, uh, so I guess that now we can remove this one. So that's the SIM card. Okay, so we just uh, put this one away. Okay, so I still have an issue with this screw and um, for the rest it should come without much issue, I guess. Can remove this part. So, Okay, so here I guess the point which is blocking it to go on this part maybe. Okay, so um, in fact, in order to remove this part, uh, you need to unplug this part which has been pasted with something like this. Uh, then you have as well this part uh, over here to remove and then uh, you should be good to go. Okay, um, so now I can access to the screen. So this is the screen part, which I hope is not broken, uh, that now I can change into this one. So let's go for it. So I'm just gonna take uh, this part out. Okay, so this part out. And I'm gonna put back on this one. So now I need to put back the camera on. Um, no idea which one I could take. If I could take this one, where the screw looks broken, or if I need to take this one. So. I'm going to probably take this one. Okay, so here I have one screw left. Okay, so uh, once it's done, well, you just need to add the, the screws back. So you just need to remember, in fact, which screws uh, you put where. And as well, I uh, will need to have the SIM card back. So I will need to find out uh, my old, old SIM card, which is over here. 
for the SIM card. So do do do. Okay, and now let's add all the different screws. So my bad, it was first uh, the small ones. The black one need to be inserted first. Just need to remember which one were which. So probably one over here. Okay, then I probably add another one. Okay, uh, then I probably add another one over here, and then I should be good to go. So Yes, I have a fourth one to add over here. Okay, and now uh, let's uh, add back this part. I'm right, I guess that's the one that I had originally, or was it this one? so far and uh, let's let's add back those screws well anyway I can I can skip this step as far as I get the battery I can already check if it's working or not let's see Woohoo! Okay, so it seems good. Seems that um, I succeed to repair my first uh, my first smartphone by uh, simply 
purchasing another uh, computer, another smartphone which was uh, working. And as a result, well, it seems it works. And that's it uh, for everything that I wanted to show you today. Uh, thanks for watching.